Streets and precincts closed across the municipality where people can book into restaurants where they will be entertained, where they can feel that sense of camaraderie uh, and enjoy time with family and friends as uh, we lead into New Year's. It's important as well that instead of having that one moment to celebrate, that uh, street feast continues tomorrow with a brunch and tomorrow evening, no, uh, tomorrow night for New Year's Eve and then extends into New Year's Day for a brunch, I'm a day ahead of myself, and into uh, New Year's Day dinner. And we've done that to really be able to say to people, you can spread your celebrations with family and friends over that extended period. And again, it takes the pressure uh, off a sense of crowds gathering in big numbers. It also takes the pressure off all of our systems. Uh, and I'm looking forward to hearing more from uh, Vic Pole, from our ambulance and fire services and from transport in the ways that we've coordinated to make sure that the city will remain a very safe place. Back to street feasts, you can book in. There are still some seats available. We're encouraging everybody who wants to come to the city to make a booking. You can make that through the street feasts website. You could go to your favourite restaurant or venue to celebrate, but we are encouraging everybody to make a booking. That's going to help us manage and understand crowds. It's going to help ensure that everybody can have a safe New Year's Eve. We are delighted, actually, that at the end of a difficult year, uh, in making a big decision not to have fireworks, one of the things that that meant is that we could continue to support our hospitality uh, industry here in the city of Melbourne. Unlike Sydney, where they're having fireworks but the city is basically closed, we decided to keep our city open, to keep supporting those businesses that really add so much to Melbourne's character and personality and recognising that for all those business owners and their teams, one of the best things we can do to bring in the new year is to show our support for them. 2020 has been a big year of no. We are hoping that 2021 is a big year of yes. That's only going to be possible if we continue to behave in a way that respects not just our own safety, but the safety of the community. So we're encouraging everybody to have an absolutely fantastic time to help bring back that buzz to Melbourne, but to do it in a way that really respects the fact that we want 2021 to be COVID free. I'm handing over to our Minister, uh, Lisa Neville, for a few words. Thank you, Minister. Uh, thank you, Lord Mayor, and good morning, everyone. So this time last year, I actually stood here, or in the other room, in fact, um, to uh, advise people for the second time to leave East Gippsland. So that was a year ago, and for those communities, their New Year's Eve was very different. Um, their 2020 was very different than we, they expected, as was our All Victorians 2020 very different. Um, and that has also meant that this New Year's Eve is also going to be extremely different for everyone, and it needs to be. We all do want to say goodbye to this year. We all do hope that 2021 is a better year um, that we've got ahead. But we don't have a vaccine. We still have risk in our community. We still have risk of spread. That's why we have in place COVID restrictions. How many people you can have at home? How many people you can gather with at home? A outdoors, in outdoor gatherings? How many people can go to restaurants? How restaurants operate? And it's for a good reason. And that is we have done the hard yards this year. We cannot risk the work that we have done this New Year's Eve um, by gathering, by breaking the rules. That's why the decision was taken, the right decision by council, and I thank them for that, not to have fireworks this year. That's why we are urging, and the health advice is clear, please only come to the CBD if you have a booking at a restaurant, if you're part of the ticketed events. Don't just come in and wander around the CBD. Don't hang out in large groups. We cannot undo the incredible work uh, the hard work that Victorians have done this year. And I, I, I think everyone here, everyone listening today will know it has been a very hard year and we have done an incredible thing as Victorians. Let's not risk it as we celebrate the end of 2020. Let's do the right thing. 
let's make sure we follow the rules, make sure that businesses continue to comply, the Q code, um, make sure we continue to comply with square meterage. All of these are important to keeping us safe now as we go forward. We don't yet have a vaccine in this country, so until that, we need to continue to comply with the rules for our safety and to keep Victorians safe going forward and to hope for the best 2021 that we can have. But we're also very conscious that we are going to have lots of people out celebrating. We've got lots of Victorians who are holidaying in Victoria, um, often for the first time, who are spending their Christmas here. So we've got people across our coast, in our regional communities, and across um, Melbourne and across our beaches here in Melbourne. So we're going to have a very heavy police presence, both to enforce COVID rules, to provide reassurance to the community, but also to ensure public safety uh, so that people can feel safe spending time with family and friends in a COVID safe way without risk of other public safety issues. So hundreds of police combined with the air wing, the mounted branch, the dog squad, uh, the water police will be out across Melbourne, will be out across our, our seaside areas, across our coastal communities and regional towns on our, on our transport system over the New Year's Eve period to ensure that people can safely enjoy both from a public safety perspective but also from a COVID perspective. And I want to also please also send a very strong message to those on our roads. We've had six deaths already over this Christmas period on our roads. Uh, we have our road policing people out there, so don't be tempted to drink and drive. Don't be tempted to use drugs. Don't be tempted to, to um, speed on our roads. Police will be out there, but we don't want to see any more deaths in 2020 on our roads. Our toll is lower than it has been for a very long time, but six over the Christmas period is six too many people that we have lost and six too many families affected by the deaths on our roads. Can I just finish by thanking, um, firstly, all our police, the 708 of them who are up on our road borders at the moment. So they have um, so far turned around almost 600 vehicles. They've fined about 22 people um, and given uh, a number of warnings to people who have attempted to come from the red zones in, in New South Wales back into Victoria. Uh, they spent their Christmas there, they're going to spend their New Year's Eve there, they're supported by the SES and other emergency services and I want to thank them enormously for the work that they've done. I want to thank our police officers and all our quarantine staff who also spent Christmas working, um, this, almost 600 police doing quarantine work. So um, for all our emergency services at this time, this is the time now to say thank you. If you see them on the street tomorrow night, say thank you in a COVID safe way, uh, give them a, you know, an elbow, uh, say thank you for the work that they've done this year to keep us safe and be assured they'll be out there in a heavy presence, very visible over the next 24 hours to help keep us all safe.